Hi, I'm Hannah Hairston from Fayetteville, Arkansas, and for my Art History Today pro project, I did Christina Mariotti's Happiness. Um, a little bit of background information about Mariotti. She's originally from Rome, and then she moved here to the States whenever she was a teenager and attended the U of A. At the U of A, she acquired a BFA in painting, but while she was here, she went on study abroad back to Rome to study there for a semester. And from her website, she says, there was a Catholic rebirth inside me. She could feel her dormant knowledge of the language coming back, and her love of the Italian design once more began to blossom within her. She believes that these influences, everything from architecture to fashionable Italian shoes, play a large role in her painting. So, she has an exhibit and a studio in Fayetteville on this, like, right off the square on top of this cupcake, so if you're ever in town, you should go check her out. She's a very neat lady. Um, a little bit about the actual artwork. It has very vivid colors that are contrasting and complementary at the same time. We have this bright yellow contrasting with the bright green, and then you have the complementary color of this purple that matches both with yellow and green. So you get a whole feel for this mix and match thing that's kind of contrasting, pulling, pulling you back and forth. Um, also, this is a very abstract painting. As you can tell, her arms are very disproportionate to the rest of her body. Her shoulders and arms right here are very small, while this one is extremely large, and the bulk of her bicep is very, very disproportionate. And her hand is something is doing something that actually is not physically possible. Also, with the not physically possible, Noah's neck is this long, or their head sideways. So her head being sideways is also a big factor. It kind of brings in like this confusion, but you can't really tell because her eyes are kind of just mystified and it's kind of glazed, but then you have this arm being protective. So you're having this mystified, confused, protective output. So it's basically what you interpret the picture to be. And that's what I really like about Mariotti is that she's using something that you have to interpret and it's not the same interpretation for everyone. Um, so thing that like relates it back to art history is her use of distortion and can be found with the Greeks, except for the Greeks used distortion for perfection and achieving the best, and so that's what everyone strives to be. While hers is just striving, this, the disproportional is just just being unusual and being weird and trying to show something that like your arm, the arm being protective and being a lot bigger than this arm may say something about how protective one needs to be while the sideways confusion of the head can say something else. And so you just really don't know what's going on with her disproportion, but she gets that from the Greeks. And also, it, this could be found by um, William de Kooning's Woman 5. He paints women, but he distorts everything but their faces. And so hers is kind of the opposite of that, as the woman is still here, but her face is dispropor disproportionate because it's sideways and it's just not normal. Um, but why I chose this painting is Christina Mariotti is actually a family friend, but that's one of the reasons why. But I like how she uses the colors in a contrasting and complementary way. It just kind of gives you that push-pull feeling, and it just takes you, you just have to look at it and appreciate it. And I also like the fact that there are so many me messages in this. You have the confusion of the head, but you have the mystified quiet eyes, and you have this long neck that is kind of putting it on a stand and raising it up. And you have this arm that is just really disproportioned. And then it's just doing all these things that one can't do. But it's not to see something that you can't do, but you can see it. So I chose Christina Mariotti's happiness for my art history project. So enjoy.